Hey there, tech fans. Today I've got the OBSBOT HDMI adapter. This clever little product allows you to use your webcam as if it were a full-size DSLR camera because it automatically converts the video signal from the USB-C connection into an HDMI signal that you can feed into your recording and broadcasting software like OBS or really any device that requires an HDMI signal. It comes in really handy if you're doing video streaming and you need a second camera. You can avoid the cost of buying another DSLR by using your webcam as if it were a DSLR and actually generate that HDMI signal. Now, before I get too deep into the review, I always like to start with a quick unboxing just to show you everything that's included, and then I'll explain how the product works and give you the specifications, and I'll actually do a quick demonstration to show you just how easy this will be to use with your own webcam. But first, let's get started with the unboxing. Now, this is gonna be really quick because there's not a lot inside the box. So when you first pop open the box, you'll find the HDMI adapter. You'll find a really nice, really long USB-C to USB-C cable. This unit needs power, it needs a webcam connected, and it has an HDMI output. You can use this for the power. You'll also find a full instruction manual that explains everything you'll ever want to know about the product. So always read through the manual to make sure you get the best value. All right, so let's talk about the unit. Again, it's incredibly simple. It's a device that takes USB-C video signals and turns those into HDMI signals that you can input again to OBS or other recording software. And the only uh, caveat is that you have to have a camera that's UVC compatible. Now that's a standard for webcams. Most modern webcams have that standard today, but always check to make sure yours is compatible. And UVC stands for USB Video Device Class. And what that means is the webcam is putting out a standard signal that can be converted by this into an HDMI signal. And again, most modern webcams, even the least less expensive ones, have UVC capabilities. The unit itself, uh, you basically plug in power, you plug in the webcam, and on the other end there's an HDMI connection. That's your output to whatever device you're going to feed that HDMI signal to. And there's one more connection here because OBSBOT makes a lot of different products. They make a couple of really nice webcams that are face tracking that'll follow you around. And there's a remote control that works with those webcams. So if you've got one of those OBSBOT cams that uses the remote, you can plug the receiver in here and it'll actually feed those signals back up to the camera so you can still control it. So they've thought of everything. Now, the unit itself, again, is self-contained. There's a cooling port on the side. It's quiet. There's no noise when it's generating that HDMI signal. And it can actually produce a 4K video feed at 30 frames a second, which is pretty incredible. So, of course, the quality of the webcam matters, but if you have a better webcam, you're gonna get better crystal clear video out on the HDMI side. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll do a really quick demonstration, again, to show you just how simple this product will be to use with your own webcam. Now I'll show you just how easy it'll be to use the OBSBOT HDMI adapter with your own webcam. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up a monitor as my output device because I wanted to show you what the output looks like. Normally you would feed that HDMI output into your recording or broadcasting software, something like OBS, but for today I want to show you how crystal clear that output is. In front of me I have the HDMI adapter, and over here I have a standard webcam that's UVC compatible. Now the first connection I'll make is from the monitor directly to the HDMI output port. I've already connected an HDMI cable up to the monitor, and I'll plug that into the HDMI port on the OBSPOT. And now I can add power. I've already plugged in a power supply. I've got the USB-C cable plugged into that, and I'll plug this into the power port on the OBSPOT. Now the minute I do that, the OBSPOT starts an internal power on self-test where it checks the electronics. It's also booting the operating system that's responsible for converting the video from the USB-C into HDMI. And you can see the logo just popped up here. Now it's checking the resolution of my webcam, which I don't have plugged in yet, and the output resolution of the monitor to make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible HDMI feed. Now I'll plug in the webcam on the other USB-C port. And it'll take a second for this self-test to finish, but what it's going to do is make adjustments to give you the best possible picture between whatever webcam you're using and whatever output device is receiving that HDMI signal. And again, it takes a couple of seconds for that to happen. Once that finishes, there you go. There's the video. So you're watching video from the webcam. I mean, that is a really nice image right there. No latency whatsoever. So think for a second about how you can use this if you're doing video streaming, having this as an overhead camera to do your overhead shots, it works really, really well. And what you're viewing here is video content 
over this USB-C that's been converted into an HDMI signal, again, that you can display on a monitor or you can send to your recording software. And it really is just that easy to get it working. I think this product can come in really handy for a lot of people that are doing that type of broadcasting or if you've got live streams going. And it allows you to use a less expensive webcam in place of a really expensive DSLR to accomplish the same thing. And that's pretty much all I had for today. So I hope you found value in this review and thanks again for watching.